Genesis 29, 1-24 Jacob set out again on his way to the people of the east. He noticed a well out in an open field with three flocks of sheep bedded down around it. This was the common well from which the flocks were watered. The stone over the mouth of the well was huge. When all the flocks were gathered, the shepherds would roll the stone from the well and water the sheep. Then they would return the stone, covering the well. Jacob said, Hello, friends. Where are you from? They said, We're from Haran. Jacob asked, Do you know Laban, son of Nahor? We do. Are things well with him? Jacob continued. Very well, they said. And here is his daughter Rachel coming with the flock. Jacob said, There's a lot of daylight still left. It isn't time to round up the sheep yet, is it? So why not water the flocks and go back to grazing? We can't, they said. Not until all the shepherds get here. It takes all of us to roll the stone from the well. Not until then can we water the flocks. While Jacob was in conversation with them, Rachel came up with her father's sheep. She was the shepherd. The moment Jacob spotted Rachel, daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, saw her arriving with his uncle Laban's sheep, he went and single-handedly rolled the stone from the mouth of the well and watered the sheep of his uncle Laban. Then he kissed Rachel and broke into tears. He told Rachel that he was related to her father, that he was Rebekah's son. She ran and told her father. When Laban heard the news, Jacob, his sister's son, he ran out to meet him, embraced and kissed him and brought him home. Jacob told Laban the story of everything that had happened. Laban said, Your family, my flesh and blood. When Jacob had been with him for a month, Laban said, Just because you're my nephew, you shouldn't work for me for nothing. Tell me what you want to be paid. What's a fair wage? Now Laban had two daughters. Leah was the older and Rachel the younger. Leah had nice eyes, but Rachel was stunningly beautiful. And it was Rachel that Jacob loved. So Jacob answered, I will work for you seven years for your younger daughter, Rachel. It is far better, said Laban, that I give her to you than marry her to some outsider. Yes, stay here with me. So Jacob worked seven years for Rachel, but it only seemed like a few days. He loved her so much. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife. I've completed what we agreed I'd do. I'm ready to consummate my marriage. Laban invited everyone around and threw a big feast. At evening, though, he got his daughter Leah and brought her to the marriage bed, and Jacob slept with her. Laban gave his maid Zilpah to his daughter Leah as her maid. Genesis 